I was relying too much on him and not on God. I fell back into sin. It was smoking weed, to be specific. Wow. My faith was relying partially on my mentor. But the problem there is that people will always fall short. Good morning, church. Good morning. Good morning. Come on, bro. Thank you, Frank, for allowing me to uh, speak. My second communion. Come on, bro. Uh, most of all, thank God um, who can uh, allow me to exist. Yes. Um, the first time I shared my communion, I talked about what the cross means to me uh, before I became a disciple. Yes. And this time I will share what the cross means to me so far during my discipleship. Amen. The cross means to me the reliable one. All right. I got baptized as a disciple on the 31st of December last year. Amen. And in my first week as a disciple already, I got to travel to London to go to a European conference. Right. And during this conference, I got to see how prideful I really Amen, am. Bro. And uh, yeah, a month later, I got to another conference. It was the oh, inaugural wow. service of the Berlin Church. Mm. Wow. And there I got to see how much I actually need God in order to feel any joy at all. Mm. Come on. Then, uh, yeah, later, uh, actually last week, we had a conference in Mexico. Let's go. And that's where I got to see how unloving I actually am. Wow. So discipleship makes you discover many uncomfortable truths about yourself. Yeah. Wow. And either you that can make you grow or you can choose to let it destroy yourself. Wow. The choice is up to yourself. Mm. I would like to share with you this verse. It's Micah 7, verse 5 to 7. On, it's one of my favorite on, verses in the Bible. Some of my prophets. It says, do not trust a neighbor, put no confidence in a friend. Even with the woman who lies in your embrace, guard the words of your lips. Wow. For a son dishonors his father, a daughter rises up against her mother, a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. A man's enemies are the members of his own household. But as for me, I watch in hope for the Lord. I wait for God my Savior, my God will hear me. Amen. Amen. God is the only true reliable one. Amen. Amen. Come on. Two months ago, my spiritual mentor, also known as a discipler, fell away from the faith. Yes. He was the one that reached out to me to be a disciple in the first place. And he fell away from discipleship himself. Yeah. Yeah. I was relying too much on him and not on God. I fell back into sin. It was smoking weed, to be specific. Wow. My faith was relying partially on my mentor. But the problem there is that people will always fall short. Yes. 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 You should trust your brothers and sisters. Don't get me wrong, guys. Yeah. But you should not rely on them. You should not yeah. lean on them. And I made that mistake. This verse shows that people always fall short and will disappoint at some point in life. Yes. 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 We all can and will be unreliable people. Yes. All of us and me as well and everyone you see out there. Wow. Psalm 18, 1 to 3 says, I love you, Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock, my fortress and my deliverer. My God is my rock in whom I take refuge. My shield and the thorn and the horn of my salvation. My stronghold, I call to the Lord who is worthy of praise and I have been saved from my enemies. Amen. You can always rely on God. Yes. He is so reliable that he takes our sins upon him. Jesus is the reliable one. Colossians 2, 6-7. So then, just as you received Christ Jesus as Lord, continue to live your lives in him. Yes. Rooted and built up in Him. Yes. Strengthened in the faith as you were taught. And overflowing with thankfulness. Amen. Amen. Ever since my mentor fell away, I'm learning a lot. And the main thing I'm learning is to rely on God alone. Yes. Yeah. God is putting me now in more situations where I have to walk by faith. Yeah. He is building my character. Yes. I've quit my job now and I'm going into part-time ministry. Wow. Wow. My, my career in the world will be no more. Mm. Come on. Many might call me crazy. Come on, bro. Uh, Come on. 
Preach, bro. I still have to tell my parents. <laughs> I know I know God has a plan for me. God will not let me down. Now it's my responsibility to stay rooted in Him and rely on Him alone. Now I do not want to tell you to do the exact same. I just want you to get rooted in Christ. To rely slash lean. On God. I want to encourage you to be bold and to walk by faith. Wow. People will let you down, but God will never. Wow. I want to encourage you to check for yourself if your faith is reliant on people. Wow. What will you do if your disciple falls away? Wow. What will you do, guys? Wow. And what will you do if this whole church, if everyone in this Preach. room falls away. Come on. Come on. Where will you go? Yeah. If you fall away with them, you're rooted more in them than you're rooted in Christ. Amen. The cross means to me the reliable one. I love you all and to God wow. be the glory. Let's pray, guys.